place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast of one of the apostles of Jesus, Saint Andrew the Apostle, the patron saint of Scotland and Greece and many other places, many other countries. It was Andrew who was a disciple of John the Baptist and it was John the Baptist who introduced Andrew to Jesus. As we celebrate the memory of Saint Andrew the Apostle today, let us also pray for our country as we also commemorate the 158th birth anniversary of Andres Bonifacio. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, and we glorify you. We give, we you, give you thanks, thanks for and your for your great glory, glory Lord, Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King O God, o God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord God, Lord God Lamb of God, God Son, Son of the Father, Father. You, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. You, you take, take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. 
We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed Apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and so is justified. And one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. Thy scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they heard without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? As is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what was heard from us? Thus faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, they, did they not hear? Certainly they did. For their voice has gone forth through all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The judgment, the judgment of, the of the Lord, Lord is true, and all, of them, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgment of the Lord is true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The, other, the ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The judgment of the Lord are true, all of them are just. They are, most, they are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgment of the Lord are true, all of them are just. Please all rise.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen, and he said to them, Come after me, I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed Jesus. Jesus walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John. They were also in a boat with their father Zebedee mending their nets. He called them and immediately they left their boats and their father and they followed Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's the last day of the month of November. Tomorrow we begin the last month of the year 2021. As we observe the last day of the month of November, we mark the 158th birth anniversary of the father of the Philippine Revolution, Andres Bonifacio, who is also known as the Supremo of the Katipunan. That is why today, I'd like to invite everybody that let us pray for our country, let us pray for our people, especially in the light of the forthcoming national and local elections. November 30 is also significant in the Catholic Church because today we celebrate the feast of Saint Andrew the Apostle. The Byzantine Church honors Andrew with the nickname Protoclete. What is the meaning of the word Protoclete? It means the first called, the first called by Jesus together with his brother Peter. As a matter of fact, our gospel reading for today narrates to us the call of the first apostles, two sets of brothers, Peter and Andrew, James and John. The Gospel says that as Jesus was walking along the Sea of Galilee, He was watching two brothers, Simon, now known as Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the sea. It is because they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Come after me, follow me, I will make you fishers of men. And interestingly, Peter and Andrew immediately, they immediately abandoned their nets and they became followers of Jesus. Originally, Andrew was a disciple of John the Baptist. When Jesus walked by one day, John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God! And immediately, Andrew and another disciple followed Jesus. Jesus turned around and noticed them following him. Jesus asked them, What are you looking for? And they said to him, Rabbi, where do you live? And Jesus answered, Come and see. And so they went to see where Jesus was lodged, and they stayed with Jesus that day. Little else is known about Andrew in the Gospels. Before the multiplication of the loaves and the fish, it was Andrew who spoke about the boy 
who had the barley loaves and fish. When the Gentiles went to see Jesus, they came to Philip, but Philip then had recourse to Andrew. According to tradition, Andrew preached the gospel in what is now modern Turkey and Greece, and he was probably crucified in a place called Patras. The gospel reading recounts the call of these two pairs of brothers, Andrew and Peter, James and John. And as we said, they were fishermen. They were not men of great scholarship. They did not go to the best universities at the time because there were no universities anyway. They had no influence. They had no wealth. And they did not belong to any famous social background. They were poor and simple fishermen. They were ordinary people, working people with no great background and certainly anyone would have said they had no promising future. But it was these ordinary men whom Jesus chose. Ordinary fishermen who would later become fishers of men. Amen. Let us all stand. Let us commend our intentions to the care of God the Father with the prayers of St. Andrew. Let our response be, Lord, bless your people. Lord, bless your people. That our pastors called by God to be fishers of men may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless your, your people. people. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of, God, of the gospel by the witness of life. Let us Lord, pray to the Lord. Lord, bless your people. That those called by our Lord to his service may respond generously to his call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless your people. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, and the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless your people. That our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless your, your people. people. Let us also pray for the intentions of our donors and benefactors and friends of the seminarians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless your people. people. Father, as we prepare to celebrate the incarnation of your Son, grant the prayers we make in union with Andrew the Apostle. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, O oh, let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the to me and drink come to me and drink oh let all who are thirsty come to me and drink i will pour my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy Come 
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings, which we bring on the feast of St. Andrew the Apostle, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed Apostle Andrew, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in my memory. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, remember your servants, Elena Rodriguez, Felipe Acosta, Dominga Acosta, Grace Aceron Rogelio, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, especially Andrew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the same way Jesus prayed. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us, give us today this day our, our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not into temptation, into temptation but, deliver but deliver us, from, us evil. from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxiety and fear, as we wait in joy and in hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the coming, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said, Lord, to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us greet each other with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Jesus, Word of love. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of the world grant us peace. Jesus said to Andrew and Simon Peter, Come after me, I will make you fishers of men. My dear friends, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to his meal. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, my roof but, but only say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall, be healed. shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of Saint Andrew the Apostle, we who carry in our body the death of Christ may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and passionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers. May they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. 
Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in your necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Saint Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynadimitz, pray for us. Please all be seated for some announcements. As the IATF protocol eases up, please be informed of the Shrine's Mass schedule that is open to the public. Mondays to Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. For Sundays, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m. To ensure the safety of everyone, observance of health and safety standards such as physical distancing, wearing a face mask, use of alcohol, and taking of body temperature is still in place. Please bring your vaccination cards or IDs to be presented at your entrance. Please join us in celebrating the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary on Wednesday, December 8th in the following Mass Schedules. 6.30 a.m., 8 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. To usher us in the Advent season, we will be having an Advent recollection on December 3, Friday, during the 6 p.m. Mass. We have invited Father Arlo Bernardo Yap, SVD, from the CBCPC Episcopal Commission and Biblical Apostles, Apostolate as a speaker. Christmas Mass schedules are as follows. Simbang Gabi on December 15 to 23, 2021 at 8 p.m. Misa di Gallo on December 16 to 24, 2021 at 4.30 a.m. Christmas Eve Mass on December 24, 2021 at 8 p.m. The said masses will be live-streamed and open to the public. Thank you. Signed, Father Roni Crisistomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Good morning, everybody. Father Louis Punsalan, SVD here. I would also like to invite our donors, benefactors, and sponsors, and friends of the Seminary of Christ the King. This is the Shrine. That is the Seminary. There is a recollection here. And we are also sponsoring a recollection by Christ the King Mission Seminary, by our seminarians. And uh, we have scheduled the Advent recollection on December 11 at 7 p.m. after the 6 o'clock Mass. It's a Saturday. It's the eve of Gaudete Sunday or the third Sunday of Advent. Uh, we will start posting the poster, flashing the poster next Thursday. And uh, we invite the benefactors, the donors, the friends, and the faithful in general for the Advent recollection, separate from the Advent recollection here, but everybody is invited. It will be facilitated by Father Don John Soriano SVD, former missionary to Congo in Africa. I would also like to invite our friends, benefactors, donors and friends to visit our new Facebook page. Just type CKMS Donor Care and uh, it will lead you to the Facebook page of the seminary 
and the seminarians. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our donors, benefactors, and friends of the seminarians for the assistance, the support, the prayers, the help, financial and otherwise, that you are extending to our seminarians. If you would like to help our seminarians in their board and lodging and in their tuition and school fees, we are flashing in front of you our bank account with BDO. The account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. And the account number is 000-220-191247. You may send your donation to this bank account. This is our one and only bank account for the seminarians. But we are also keeping two GCash numbers. And those GCash numbers at the beginning of the month, they will be emptied again and they will be ready again to accept donations for the same purpose, for the seminarians and for their board and lodging and tuition by the seminarians. And finally, we have an email address in case you want to communicate, to contact me by email. It is ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com. Maraming maraming salamat po lalong lalo na sa mga tumutulong sa ating mga seminarista at magpapadala pa ng kanilang tulong sa mga darating na araw. Maraming maraming salamat. God bless all of you. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer in honor of Christ the King. Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, let us adore Him. In deepest reverence, we approach the glorious throne of our risen Lord and King, Jesus Christ, and offer Him the tribute of our homage and adoration. We adore and praise Him to whom the Eternal Father said, Yours is princely power in the day of your birth in holy splendor. Before the day starts, like the dew, I have begotten you. Yours are the heavens, and yours is the earth, the world and its fullness you have founded. You receive dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve you. For through you all things came into being, and apart from you nothing came to be. Therefore, from every nation and race, people and tongue, they cry out, Hail Christ the King. Of you, the prophet said, A child is born to us, a son is given to us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests, his dominion is vast and forever peaceful. 
of you the Virgin Mary was sold. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will be without end. Prayer to Jesus on the values of the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, once more we gather before you, our Master and King, to listen to the words you spoke in the Beatitudes. We have been listening to the clamor of the world, but we now resolve to listen again to your voice in the Beatitudes. The world says, Happy are the rich. Money and power rule the world. But you say, Happy are the poor in spirit. The rule of God is theirs. The world says, Happy are those who have good time. They are ha the happy, happy ones. But you say, Happy are the sorrowing. They shall be consoled. The world says, You are happy are those greedy for power and fame. They shall rule the world. But you say, Happy are they who hunger and thirst for wholeness. They shall be satisfied. The world says, Happy are the cold hearted and the proud. They will dominate the earth. But you say, Happy are they who show mercy. Mercy, mercy shall be theirs. The world says, Happy are those who crush opposition with the force. But you say, Happy are the peacemakers. They shall be called sons and daughters of God. The world says, Happy are those who know how to deceive and get ahead by lies and cheating. But you say, Happy are the single-hearted, honest persons, for they, for they shall see God. The world says, Happy are you when the world flatters and applauds, for people will esteem you highly. But you say, Happy are you when they insult and persecute you, and speak every kind of slander against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for, for your reward is great in heaven. They persecuted the prophets before you in the same way. On judgment day, Lord, we shall know the truth, worth of every person. Then we shall not care what people think of us, but only how we stand in your eyes and in the eyes above your Father. Then we shall realize, as never before, the values you express in the Beatitudes. Then we shall be happy if we have carried out your commandment of love. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to our needs and petitions to the merciful heart of Christ the King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 